Peace. What's up, everybody? It's your brother, Trey Chaney, and I'd like to welcome everybody to this very special edition of Give Them Flowers While They're Still Here. On today's episode, I got the legend who happens to be my brother, Mr. Jason Weaver. We're talking about young Simba from The Lion King. The brother played Michael Jackson in the Jackson 5 and American Dream Story. And we can't forget about his iconic role as Teddy in the film ATL. So this is a special one, like I said. So make sure y'all tune in right now to give them flowers while they're still here with my special guest, Jason Weaver. Trey. My brother. What's up, cuz? What's up, dog? What's happening with you? Hey, check it out, man. Anybody that's just joining right now, this is my brother, Jason Absolutely. Weaver. Absolutely. Jason Weaver. But, but you know what, bro? Before we even start, yeah, I got to I gotta kick it off and just say, you a legend. Oh, man, please, man. No, no. You my, you my no, brother. Man. You my brother, but you a legend. And, Thank you, bro. And I'm honored to have you on this platform that I have, which is called Give Them Flowers While They Still Here. Oh, um, man, that's beautiful. That Well, first of all, Trey, before you continue, allow me. Thank yeah. you so much, brother. Yeah. First of all, for the for the kind words. Uh, and also, it's an honor for me to be on, on your show, on your platform, and yeah. getting a chance to chop it up with you. Because, man, I'm a huge fan of your work. I told you that when we first met uh, yeah. a while back. And I was like, man, Trey, I'm, I'm a huge fan of your work. I think you're an outstanding actor, brother. Thank and, you, man. And uh, for us to get this opportunity you know, to just chop it up like this. And then, and then what I just love about your platform, it's all about love. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I, yeah. I saw you, 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 um, you had posted something yesterday, man, that really struck with me where you say, you know, it's too much hate that people are paying attention to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Forgetting out about here. What love is. Yeah. Forgetting about what love is. And I thought, man, I just thought that was, that was so beautiful to hear, man. And wow. So I, I, I rock with you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. But anybody that's just tuning in, man, of course, we, we're talking about the legendary Jason Weaver. We're talking about, you play Michael Jackson, bro, on, on, on the Jacksons, yeah. your legendary role in ATL, yeah. um, Young Simba being the, being the voice and the Lion King of Young Simba. I mean, I, I took it back to Thea. I'm like, oh, yeah. man, you, you've been in, in so many iconic things. And one thing that I do when it comes to give them flowers while they still here is mm -hmm. I always share an experience about how an artist or an actor or one of my friends in the business inspired me. And okay. this is one way that you inspire me because everybody that comes on here doesn't know what I'm actually going to say. And okay. a couple of months ago, I got a call in reference to do a jingle for a company because okay. I'm a hip hop artist, as everybody knows. Right, um, right. So I get a call to do a jingle for a company. I'm not going like specifically tell you the company yet because the ink ain't dry. So I got you. I got you. So I get this call and they come at me with this offer and they just come at me with the one offer. So I'm like, all right, bet. You know, so right now everything is still up in the air. But as soon as I actually left the meeting, my brother Daz, my brother who's from D.C., that's my brother Daz, he hits me with this text message, and it's a text message with a headline that had you involved. Jason mm -hmm. Weaver, how Jason Weaver turned down $2 million mm -hmm. to take a lower payment and collect royalties. And I'm telling you, man, it was nothing... But God, when I looked at that interview that you did on Vlad and when I looked at all of the headlines and all of the press that you were getting, mm -hmm. that right there inspired the I mean, it inspired me to a point where I went back to the company and now I'm in renegotiations because it's almost like, oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah, man. That's I, I awesome. mean, but, but but your story on them wanting to pay you a certain amount of money for the voice of young Simba and the Lion King. All the way up until you you could have took that money and that could have been it. Right. I, I thought about it as an artist because so many artists and actors we get so caught up sometimes, especially with a with a situation going on like how coronavirus, the uh, COVID nineteen pandemic is affecting a lot of people's pockets. True. If somebody True. presents an offer, we'll automatically be like, "All right, yeah, I need the money." True. But just you being an inspiration and saying, "Yo." I'm, I'm not going. And, and this was like back in the 90s. You could have mm -hmm. took that money, man, and that could have been it. But for you to actually take a stand and say, I'm going to take a lower payment and collect royalties, 
bro, when I looked at that interview, I swear it was nothing but God. And oh said, man, that's that's dope. And the last time we seen each other was when I opened up for Snoop Dogg last year at State Farm Arena. That's and right. That's when right. You walk, when you walk in your presence, I was like, this was our first encounter. But at the mm-hmm. same time, I was like, Jason Weaver's energy is on another level. And you see how we automatically click. And, and I was Absolutely. like, man, and, and I Absolutely. couldn't have done give them flowers while they still here without having you on. So Jason oh, Weaver from your brother Trey Cheney, I'm giving you your flowers while you still here, brother. Oh, man. Thank you, brother. Nothing but an inspiration, a motivation, and you're a legend, like I said in the beginning, man. And I mean, whether you, you know we brothers, we boys, man, yeah. but at the same time, I am watching you. I, I'm a fan, and I'm a fan of your work just as much as you love my work. But man, I'm telling you, I study your roles. I studied your role in ATL. I studied you playing That's Michael dope, Jackson. Man. You know what I'm saying? That's even, dope. even you being an amazing singer. You know what I'm saying? Definitely right now, it's a lot of people on here that's like, how have you, Jason Weaver, been coping since, you know, the pandemic hit and everything? Have you been working on any new projects? I know a lot of stuff oh, yeah. on television and film and music, but what have you been up to? Yeah, uh, well, um, well, again, even before I get into that, man, um, thank you um, just for the kind words, because here, here's the thing. And and I, I think what you and I realize and so many of us that are in the business, that are on the same you know, wavelength spiritually, mentally. Man, it's important for us as black men in this business, as black people in this business, man. And, and even in this world, just in life in general, for us to support one another yeah. and to uplift one another um, and to celebrate one another. Yeah. And, you know, for you to um, create even a segment called Give Them Their Flowers While They're Here. Yeah. Man, that, man, that's beautiful, man. I, I, like, I, I can't thank you enough. I'm really, really honored, sincerely, brother, to, to be Thanks. here. And like you said, when we, when we first met uh, backstage at Snoop's, because uh, yeah. me, and Dad, me and Dad's a crew up and all that, we go back. That's like, yeah. the homies. So yeah. when I was there, when I met you, I was like, oh, there go Trey. Because I was like, man, I've been wanting to meet this cat. Yeah. And, um. Because, you know, I've, I've been following your stuff since The Wire. And then we have a mutual friend in Andre Royal, no, uh, who's on The course. Wire with you. Me and Andre go back Family. years. Uh, yeah, Family. man. Great, great guy. So, you know, all of you guys on that show, um, mm-hmm. when I met you, and I, and I had to tell you, I was like, man, you the shit, bro. I was like, all y'all yeah. brothers, man. <laughs> yeah. I was like, The Wire, because The Wire is honestly, and I'm not just saying this because you're sitting here talking. It's truly one of my favorite shows of all time. Thank and, you, you know, just as much as, uh, you know, you study my work, man, I've definitely studied what you guys were doing, especially within that group. You know right. what I'm saying? Where y'all, you know, below the towers and all that. And I was like, damn, like, I just I, I, I just have a tremendous amount of respect for the, the level of talent that you guys display uh, on that show, man. And what you continue to display, because uh, I've seen your work since then. And then on top of that, um, the active role that you play in the community. Uh, the yeah. image that you display as a husband, as a father, Thank you know you, what I'm man. saying? The head of a household, like, bro, I salute, salute. So it's, it's love. No, nah, so all, all of that being said, no, nah, um, to answer your question, uh, during this pandemic, I really, cause I had just returned from Los Angeles, uh, yeah. prior to everything like being shut down. Cause I'm, I'm, I was out there, uh, pitching some things. Yeah. Uh, along with um, some uh, one of my producing partners, uh, Joshua Leonard, who's an artist and animator. We have a project uh, currently positioned uh, at Hillman Grad Productions right now. Wow. Uh, with, with Lena, with Lena Waith and uh, uh, Rishi Rajani, who's the uh, executive in charge of uh, creative and production over there, is overseeing this animated project that um, Joshua was so gracious enough to allow me to be a part of. Uh, which is based around kids with uh, disabilities and special needs and their disabilities and special needs are turned into superpowers and they wow. save the world. And, um, you know, the focus is not necessarily on their disabilities. Um, that's not what we're, we're necessarily focusing on. It's, it's creating um, a normal conversation when it comes to, to people that can identify with having disabilities and special needs. And showing that they're not even disabilities, so to speak. They're just, you know, yeah. things that, that they're experiencing. It, but those things that they are experiencing are now enhanced and, and ultimately yeah. saving the world and saving everybody at the same time. So it's a, it's a great it's a great piece. 
um, a great property that I'm so proud and so honored to be attached to. Um, and, you know, for, for Lena and her company, Helmet Grad, to really take um, Joshua and I up under up under their wing. Shout out to Rishi Rajani. I don't know if he'll yeah. see this, but um, all of those guys. We have a great showrunner, um, Giselle. She's been awesome. So uh, actually, we were um, retooling some things as it related to that project. So when I came home, I was focused on that. And then I have another animated project over at Comedy Central, position at Comedy Central right now called The Secret Society. Uh, that was originally created uh, by Antonio Reed Jr., L.A. Reed's son. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. I know yeah, I yeah. Yeah. Antonio, um, my man Dantley Wyatt, a.k.a. Prowler Man, and my man Kyle Parker, Cage Parker. <laughs> Excuse me. I just yeah. say pardon me if I'm Belgian. Um, no, you good. But anyway, these brothers, uh, their their company Cloud Park. Um, I was I was talking with them about a couple other projects, and um, Antonio, you know, kind of shared it with me, and uh, I, I thought it was a genius project. It's it's kind of like a it's a it's a cross between think like um, <clears throat> like The Simpsons meets okay. The Sopranos. I got uh, okay. and it's yeah. and it's like it's it's steeped in con- conspiracy theories, Illuminati, like you know yeah. UFOs, all kinds of crazy shit, and, uh, part, and and um so um our other producing partners Mark and Judy Stewart, mm-hmm. Geneva Wasserman, uh took it over to Comedy Central. We have a position over there. Our showrunner there, Tommy Blotch, is doing an excellent job, continuing yeah. to construct and build that. That's been a process. That's um. Yeah, that we've been in development hell a little bit with it, but we've had yeah. to we've had to tread very carefully because the the subject matter and the things that we're covering are controversial and yeah. and, and they're polarizing. So right. like if, if you don't if you don't tackle them the right way, mm-hmm. they can bite you in the ass. And so I ultimately <laughs> I you. you know what I'm saying? So ultimately that's what Comedy Central is trying to um train us to be able to do so, better that so bit. anybody so anybody that's just joining right now of course we got a lot of new people on here this is my brother jason weaver indeed yes, every, everybody oh, Trey about, show. Yeah. Everybody, everybody looking like yo that's michael jack you played in the jacksons this is my brother from atl drumline we talking yeah. young sim and the lion king and we just chopping it up man because of course you know both of us being actors in this business and and definitely being fans of each other's work, mm-hmm. I just felt would give them flowers with so many crazy things that's going on in the world today. Yeah, it's it's almost like I don't want to keep on just seeing my brothers like yourself in in passing. Like, hey, what's up, Jay? And and not really, like you said, celebrating you and acknowledging you for everything up to this point that you've accomplished, but you have so much more to accomplish. So yeah, yeah. we'll give them flowers while they still here. It's it's almost like how we doing right now. It's just a conversational piece. It's nothing to it. I'm in my guest room right now in the house. Right, the same room. here. Yeah. yeah and, I, and I'm like, yo, I just want to, you know, I, I've talked to Wood Harris. I've talked to, you know what I'm saying? My, my brother, Lawrence Gillier, Big Daddy Kane, oh, wow. Kenny Lattimore, and... You crossed my mind, wow. man, because I said Jason Weaver is an inspiration, period. Uh, thank you, You know brother. what I'm saying? And then wow, like I said, man. even with your energy, like we met, bro, but but it's so crazy because we automatically exchange numbers like, yeah. all right, call me. Yeah, One absolutely. last thing, man, before we get off, mm-hmm. do you have any more music coming out? Because, I mean, bro, that that record you did with Chingy, I'm serious. That, we all know that. Yeah. <laughs> That was another Thanks, one here. Man. But but Thanks, everything man. else that you've done, because I looked at a couple of things, you you got more projects coming in music. What yeah. what's up with, with the music right now? Man, and, and speaking of which too, because I'm a fan of your music too. I've I've been really keeping up with you. Not man, I respect the dedication because you are on it. Like you really you really got it. So <laughs> yeah, I wanna, man. so I, I wanna I wanna get an opportunity for us to work in um in that realm as well. But I would love that. I would um, love that, bro. For real. I've, I've actually, I just got back in the studio. Uh, while I was in before I left to go out to LA, uh, I'm I'm putting an EP together right now. There actually are a couple labels that are interested in wow. um, possibly distributing it for me. We'll see how it goes because I want to do it. I want to do it the right way, and it's not yeah. necessarily about me 
trying to make some kind of big splash or trying to, I don't know, make it all about me, so to speak. What, what, what this is and the reason why I'm going back into the studio and doing music is really for me to reconnect with my fans, for yeah. people that have been rocking with me for years. Uh, people are still rocking with me, men who, you know, believe in my talent as a singer. Yeah. Uh, and this is a way for me to to thank them for the years of support that they wow. show me, whether it was the Lion King, uh, you know, whether it was my contribution on One Call Away with Chingy. Um, yes. I've, I've never really had an opportunity to like, well, I did. And uh, with my album Love Ambition that was on Motown. That's that, is, that, yeah. that Yeah, that experience kind of like some some moderate success. And and really, it was at a time at Motown when it was they were in transition from one one label president to the next. Um, I was a young kid and really didn't have a real story to tell at that time. So I was taking more direction versus exactly. versus exactly. me really displaying what I'm what I'm truly about as a human yeah. being. Uh, so this is going to be my, I would say, first illegitimate effort uh, in being able to reach out to those fans, to touch them, for us to connect through the music, have a good time. You know what I'm saying? For them to to get as immersed in the music as as I'm getting, as I'm creating it. And just to share the moment together. And, you know, God willing, if it's successful, you know, man, salute. Thank God. Um, no, it, it's you know, going to be successful, bro. And, and, and I'm going to tell you something, man, b- before we roll, man. Like, an opportunity of a Jason Weaver, Trey Chaney collaboration in music. That'd be we, dope. We're, we're going to make that happen. Like, we're definitely going to make I that mean, happen. I mean, because I'm 100% ind- independent. And, okay. you know, with us being in this business, man, and, and being able to have so many great relationships, you yeah. know, yeah. I'm, I'm able to move around and you're able to move around. We move in some of the same circles, man. So Absolutely. definitely us Absolutely. collabing on some music. I'm going to push for that, man, because it's it's almost like, Tomorrow ain't promised, man. And, and, and like I said, there's so much going on, and there's so many things where I'm not, I'm not hesitating no more. I'm right, just do right, it. right. I'm like, yo, that, that's Amen. just like even with this special edition of Give Them Flowers while they still here. Right. I'm gonna be honest. This, this, this conversation between me and you has been one of the most impactful. You know what I'm saying? All of them are impactful, but this one is definitely some. True and dear, man. Because, like I said, you there's so many people on here right now in the comments. Like that's right. No, let me, no. Let me let me say this too, because because whenever I'm talking on these live, um, you know, these live <laughs> podcasts or whatever streaming things, yeah. I never get a chance to to thank everybody that like you know is is leaving comments. But listen, God, man, thank you all so much. Um, yeah. I want to let all of you all know out there that you all are a blessing to me. Mm. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your love. I do see your comments that that mm. you leave, like even on my page, um, the DMs. I, I try to answer as many yeah. as I can. It, it's yeah. virtually impossible to do so. But I just want to let you guys know that I love you. Thank you so much. I wish yeah. all of you all well out there. I hope everybody stays safe. Let's yeah. all take care of each other during this crazy time. I know everybody's losing their minds. Everybody's inside. But listen... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If we just kind of stick together and help each other out, man, because I think that's ultimately what God is trying to tell us, yes. and trying to show us, man. And I think, you know, with opportunities that we get like this, like what me, what me and Trey are doing, exchange of positive energy, man, uplifting each other, celebrating each other. Let's keep doing that. Let's keep looking out for each other, y'all. And I love y'all, but thank y'all so much for this, man. And Trey, again, yeah. Like, I really look forward to the day, brother, that, that we get into the studio once everything is safe out here. That's and we, can get in, and we can get in the same room and knock out a couple records. Let's definitely do that. And I really look forward to us being able to get on the same set one day. Oh, my and the, God. And to box coming. it out. It's Cause coming, Because I, cause, cause I, I, need, I, need, I need a good workout against another real actor. Yeah, it's, I feel it's you, bro. Same here. So I'm, bro, I'm really I'm looking coming. forward to it. It's coming, man. And, and again, man, I'm going to end on this note. Jason Weaver from your brother Trey Cheney. I'm giving you your flowers right now while you're still here. Thank you. We're we gonna stay in contact, man. And, and thank you for joining me on this special edition, man. I'm a I'm a my, get pleasure. My, my my wise mind films crew right now is on here. They get ready to edit this up now. This oh let's this, do it. This, this coming to you, bro. So so nah, just stay tuned. It, Give me nah, a day nah. or two. 
Okay, yeah, and, and shoot it to me, and I'll shoot it out because no, I really enjoyed our conversation, and I yeah. really enjoyed just all the feedback and the interaction that I've been able to have with everybody here today. So thank you again, Trey. God bless you, brother. Thank you, man. God bless you as well, man. Thank you. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. Okay, fam. Peace. All right, peace. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the legend, Jason Weaver. Um, wow. I don't even know what to say. Uh, we're talking Young Simba in the Lion King. We're talking, he played an ATL. He, he played... Wow, smart guy, Thea, uh, the Jacksons. He played Michael Jackson. Um, this is this was a heavy one, and I can't wait for my Wise Mind Films crew to uh, edit this up, and we're going to get this out ASAP. OG Leo, what's up, boy? I see you. What's up, cuz? I'm going to get you on here in a minute, too. But yeah, man, um, love is love to everybody. Thank y'all for tuning in to another special edition of Give Them Flowers While They Still Here. Love you all. Peace. And don't forget, subscribe to the Dedicated Father Series YouTube page right now. The link is in my bio. Let's get it.